let me ask you a question. Sure, man, you know you can ask me anything you want. Where'd that Ice Storm Disaster Relief video ever get to? Oh, um, well, you see... Uh, you know, the one where you talk about the 40-plus homes you helped, the trees you removed, the carports you tore down? Well, you see, most of the video I took looks kind of like this. And I'm a little hesitant to put something up so low quality. It's not my style, man. Okay, I understand that, but haven't people been looking forward to this video for a while? Well, I suppose that's probably true, but here are the real reasons. For one, if I wait too long to make a video, it becomes what I call brain crack. Right, that phenomenon made known to us by Zay Frank in which an idea is so good an idea that we fear the actual execution of the idea because of the possibility that we might not do it justice and thereby ruin the original idea. Yes, that exactly. And also, the further away from the event I get, the less powerful the event comes for me and the more my memories fade, and therefore, a less powerful video for myself and subsequently my viewers. Yeah, but I thought you filmed yourself in the cars on the days you were there. Yeah, but all the audio is really bad. You get the wind from the car and all that in it. It's just kind of terrible. All right, I guess that makes sense. But couldn't you at least give us a chainsaw montage with a voiceover telling us what you guys did? You got yourself a montage, buddy. All told, we did repair service or tree removal to over 40 homes. Some were very minor repairs, small roof patch or some shingles. Some are much larger, rebuilding walls, roofs, ceilings. Some projects were so large that they were referred to our WorkFest program, which I talked about in another video. I'll link it somewhere in the sidebar there. Some were minor enough or at least not immediate dangers to the families that we just referred them to long-term housing. A lot of the people we served were not actually CAT participants to begin with. They were mostly just people in the neighborhood, but now they're CAT participants in other programs. We have some people in elderly programs. We have some people in counseling programs, in the housing programs and whatnot. It was really a good experience for CAP in general. We probably had 25 to 30 volunteers from all over the country, Illinois, North Carolina, New York, Kentucky, Ohio, um, probably forgetting a bunch of them, but there was a bunch of volunteers and they were really awesome. They were great. I love them. Thank you so much for all of them coming out. If anybody would like to donate to CAP to further this mission that we're doing, the disaster relief and all the projects and continue that work there, um, there's a link in the sidebar to CAP's website. Just click the donate button and uh, if you want to donate specifically to disaster relief, you can put a memo on your donation that says specifically for disaster relief. Otherwise, just leave it blank and we'll use it for whatever needs to be used. Thanks, man. Do appreciate it. It's about time you got all these videos up. I don't recall asking for your opinion, jerk face.